Hey, it's Laura Jean, and uh, just wanted to leave a, a rather quick update of been thankful for all the GoFundMe stuff. Uh, family and friends have really given more than they should, and I'm just really thankful. Um, I'm hoping to start uh, getting some of the alternative experimental therapies that I wanted to try uh, this week been kind of a long road trying to figure out how to set that up. Um, we've been applying for Medicaid and uh, didn't want the GoFundMe funds to interfere with that. And to do that, you have to set up a uh, supplemental needs trust. But we decided not to do that. Anyhow, long story short, we're going to work on it. We'll get access to the funds in a tax-friendly way. It's very complicated. Um, but uh, the health is about the same. Uh, still wearing this mask a lot. And um, I particularly wanted to reply to one comment where someone was asking how I stay so positive. Uh, because I smile a lot. Um, so I just wanted to chat a little bit about that. Um, the long and the short of it, find what works and then be really stubborn. Um, so for me, it comes down to my beliefs and my experiences. Um, and I wrote down because I don't want to forget stuff, whatever. Anyhow, um, first off, I know, I feel like I know how to stay hopeful in, in a situation like this because I've done it wrong before. Uh, when my parents separated when I was younger, when I was a teenager, um, I iced over and I uh, just tried to be perfect because I kind of felt, I didn't understand this at the time, but I felt like I had done something wrong or if I were perfect, God would, would not allow stuff like this in my life. And, and that's not true. And doing that doesn't work. And it took me a long time to figure that out. But, you know, when you try something that doesn't work, sometimes you learn from it. So, um, I've also tried just giving up my faith before and uh, just believing in nothing. But um, a truly materialistic worldview does not have a foundation from which to draw morality. And if you don't have a foundation for morality, you end up doing things that hurt you and then things go wrong again. Um, you know, I could try screaming about this and crying all the time. You know, I just recently watched Gleason's movie and that was really uh, moving. But, um, you know, I found that when I throw a fit or yell or do stuff like that it doesn't make it any better in fact i feel worse um, and i think that the stress of anger progresses me more so what it came down to for me is that to have a good life whether or not i'm sick it re required me believing in a, a loving creator, a loving being that's powerful and that wants a relationship with me. And uh, that lines up really well with the Bible for me, for what I've seen. And so I just immerse myself in it. Um, Versus like being just for nothing. 
but with everything, with prayer and supplication, make your request known to God. Oh, I'm going to mix up all my quotes. <laughs> but God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. After you have suffered a little while, the God of all oh, grace who has called you to his eternal um, glory in Christ will himself establish, confirm, strengthen, and restore you. I mixed up some of those words, put them in the wrong order. The Bible is so rich and full of these things. And they're not just little platitudes about a God far off. If you do what they say, if you, if you follow the Bible, if you abide in Christ, he does give you not just peace, but hope. A joy, even if it's something like this, something like ALS. So. And I'm not just saying this as a throwaway thing. Um, you know, lately, actually, last month has been kind of difficult for our family. Uh, not super difficult, but it's just been a little harder. Um, our youngest child broke her arm, and uh, she we we put it in a how to put it in a a split. Both the radius and the ulna were broken. She's three. Well, she was two when it happened, but she's three now. And uh, she fell down on it a couple times. It was crying a lot. So we wanted to get it x-rayed again. Our primary doctor's x-ray technician was out of town during that week that we wanted the x-ray. So we recommended we go to urgent care and get x-rayed. The doctor there said that it didn't look like it needed an x-ray. And he said that he'd done his study in orthopedics that... She just needed a new split, so we got a new split. On Friday, we went back to the primary doctor, got an x-rayed again, and now it looks like it's healed crooked, and it's possible she might need it reset, which could be general anesthesia, which is higher risk. Of I find myself thinking about this in the middle of the night, you know, waking up and just, you don't want your children to go through pain. And it's moments like that where it's really hard to have peace to yourself. Like it's not in me, like I have not, I would not naturally be a peace about that. But when I follow what the Bible says and what Jesus says, he said that he leaves his peace and he'll give his peace. Draw close to him, his burden is light. And he does. It works. Uh, so I just wanted to encourage you all to, you know, if you're struggling with, you know, with ALS or whatever you're struggling with, because ALS is not the only sickness in the world or trial in the world. To draw close to God, and He'll draw close to you. Um, I, I made a song list, a YouTube song list of songs that I find encouraging. So I'll put those in the, uh, the comment area or the part underneath the video. So. I hope you're encouraged by this video, um, and uh, you know, I don't know what's going to happen about my sickness with ALS. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow when we go see the orth orthopedic uh, specialist with Mercedes, but God is with me, and he's showing his love in daily ways. Plus six. Talk to you later.